Reason number 11, the flashlight. Having a flashlight on my Apple Watch Ultra has been super convenient, especially having it as an action button. So you can see it can get very bright and this is very convenient for looking for things under the bed or maybe in your car and you guys can see how bright this can get too. So it's very usable. You have strobe, SOS, and with its 3000 nits of brightness, having a flashlight on your Apple Watch has been super convenient. And at the number 12 spot, we have sleep tracking. Ever since the Apple Watch Ultra released, the Gen 1, I've been sleeping with my Apple Watch and at first it was a little weird doing that, but with the battery life being so incredible, I could wake up the next morning and be at an adequate percent for the entire day. But sleep tracking gives you very important data, see how long you've been in bed, how long you've been asleep, it tracks your heart rate, it checks your, recip res <laughs> it checks your respiratory rate sleeping, and also you can set different schedules to get the full 8 hours of sleep. And yeah, ever since day one with the first generation Apple Watch Ultra, I always sleep with my Apple Watch and maybe this could be very handy for you. It shows how long I've been in bed, how long I've been asleep. I need to do better because only four hours of sleep is not really all that good. And by the way, this is the health app on your iPhone. It's gonna track everything within this app. And at the number 13 spot, we have locate park car. Let's say you park your car at a large parking lot and you've been in the store for hours and you just don't know where you park. I have a complication. This is native to the Apple Watch. You could be able to just tap on where you park your car. So yeah, I think this is utilizing the compass app. So I use this feature time to time on my Apple Watch and the way how it determine on where you parked. If you use Apple CarPlay, in your car and you turn off the engine apple maps is actually pinpointing where you park your car and it just transferred the data onto your apple watch or you can even use your phone and i actually cannot show you guys because i don't want to show you guys my location and if you could open up the maps and it shows you where you park your car which is super convenient yeah so i mean basically this is technically an iphone feature but you could track it on your apple watch but if you go into your iphone and then you go into maps if i could find it maps there it go you want to be able to enable this show park location and I'm telling you it's going to save you so much time number 14 water depth to see how deep you are underwater now i tested this out in florida and i gotta say this was pretty cool to be able to see how deep you are underwater which was very convenient now unfortunately i cannot show you guys right now but i'm gonna show you guys the b-roll while i was in florida and um i would say it was pretty cool and i'm happy to record it so you can show you guys and i also appreciate how the iphones have an ip rating so i was able to get some underwater shots even though apple does not recommend that at all and if it gets water damage is apple's not going to be able to fix it for you but i was willing to take that risk it is cool to see the depth on your apple watch especially if you're a scuba diver or if you like snorkeling I think that's going to be pretty cool. at the number 15 spot we actually have walkie talkie now this isn't a new feature by any means but i just now got the hang of it and more and more people are getting apple watches that i know so now you can instantly contact your friends and sometimes people don't have the apple watch on or maybe they had a busy environment or maybe you have uh do not disturb enable but essentially walkie talkie is going to allow you to talk to your friends instantaneously without you know calling them facetiming them waiting for them to answer but it is pretty cool to have this walkie talkie feature but but it, it checks to see if they have the apple watch on and make sure if they're available but it is pretty cool when you test it out everything just go bloop back and forth and i would say a feature like that would be convenient if you're in the woods or if you're in a cruise ship especially it's better instead of buying those bulky walkie talkies that you typically have which i had one of those when i was a kid you could just use your apple watch which is pretty cool now at the number 16 spot remote control for tv now this is going to be only for apple tv owners so i have multiple apple tvs in the house but i'm going to connect to mine and you could be able to turn on the tv by pressing that tv icon and right now as we speak my tv is turning on so if you're in a position where you cannot reach for the remote or you can't find it, you could quickly control your Apple TV, whatever you're watching Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, whatever the case may be. Now, the only thing I don't like about this, you cannot control the volume. It would have been nice if you can, but at least you have all the fundamental controls. Number 16, cannot believe I'm saying this, but Siri. Siri, I know could be lacking at times, and there she goes right there. Uh, but it is very cool to have Siri. So for instance, let's say you're writing something down and you have that brain freeze. You don't even know how to spell this certain word. So in that situation, all you do, you raise your wrist, 
Spell sophistication. And there you go. So very instantly, you don't have to grab your phone and then try to look it up or, you know, press on the hole in the side button. All you do, you raise your wrist and then you can just ask anything you want. And that can go for math calculations, the weather outside. What does this word mean? Siri could be very, very useful at times. It is pretty cool to ask anything and um, be able to get the answer pretty much right away. And especially on device uh, intelligence too. That's pretty cool. Now on the 18th spot, we have health. Health on the Apple Watch has been pretty awesome. So you can check your EKG, uh, and actually I'm not gonna do that right now. You have your blood oxygen. I know Apple is at war right now with that blood oxygen sensor, but um, thankfully I still have it here working. I'm not sure if they're gonna lock it out with older gen Apple Watches. Also you have fall detection, so God forbid if you fall down the steps or you fall really hard down the ground, it's going to give you a countdown before it calls emergency services and it's going to potentially save your life. And there's multiple stories, articles, is on the news outlet about how the Apple Watch saves lives and I truly do believe it. Um, thankfully, I was never in a situation where I was in critical condition and the Apple Watch saved me. Um, but I would say the Apple Watch mostly keep me active. You can see those rings. I've been going to the gym and pretty much I close every single one of them. Well, the standard ring is still to be determined but you guys get the idea the apple watch is excellent for health keeping you fit let's say your heart rate is beating irregular the apple watch is going to notify you and then you could contact your doctor and be able to get to the bottom of that situation so health health is the 18th reason why you need an apple watch for sure now at the number 19 spot believe it or not storing music now storing music on your apple watch which this has 32 gigabytes you could do that. So let's say you want to go out for a run. You don't have to worry about bringing your iPhone just to listen to music or even the gym. Because believe it or not, having a phone at the gym could be very distracting. You get notifications. Yes, you could put it on Do Not Disturb, but you just break that habit of going on Instagram anyway. So having just your Apple Watch just to listen to music and just focus on your workout, I think it's going to be very beneficial for you, especially for storing music, storing podcasts. You could do that on your Apple Watch with no problem. Now, I never really, I always bring my phone to the gym. I'm not that distracted, but that might be a feature, that might be a feature that you might be interested. And essentially you just walk out the door with your Apple Watch, with your AirPods, and that's it. You're good to go. And that leads me to the final, final reason why you need an Apple Watch, sell your service. To be able to activate your Apple Watch, make phone calls, text messages. Essentially, you don't need to bring your iPhone. The Apple Watch, it's its own device. Although it is an accessory and you need an iPhone to set it up, it could be an independent device on certain situations. And, um, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, me personally, I don't see the need of it, but for you, it could be very beneficial if you're a person that always leaves your phone at home. You could be able to still make important phone calls, text messages, but you're just not gonna be able to do Instagram or all the social media apps. Although you can, it's on the watch store, but it's not the best experience. And the activation is only $10 extra onto your phone bill, which is not bad. So you don't have to spend another $50 or another $100 to add on the line. It's just $10 or $5. Sometimes you might get a deal. You might have to say to yourself, why not? May as well activate it. It's cheap and you get that peace of mind because if you lose your phone or you left it at home, you can always make your phone call on your Apple Watch. Before I end out this video, I want to discuss this Apple Watch band. A lot of you guys have been asking me what's the name of this band and it's just a titanium. It's not real titanium. I believe it's stainless steel, but I got it off of Amazon. It was real cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks, but it looks really good and it complements the design of the Apple Watch Ultra and even my iPhone 15 Pro Max here too, as you guys can see. So um, I throw a link in the description to it. And also you guys are probably confused maybe on why I started this video from number 11 to 20. And that's because I already made reasons why you need an Apple Watch part one. And I started off with number one to 10. So now starting this video from number 11 to 20, it just makes the most sense because I'm not starting all over again. It's 10 more reasons why you need an Apple Watch. 10 more reasons why you need an Apple Watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and on X at Simply Pops. 
and make sure you guys comment down below this emoji if you guys watch it this far and other than that i hope you all have a simple day peace